Hey, I'm Ben. You know, in the last few weeks of Michelle's battle, conversations with doctors became the toughest I've ever faced. They told me that there was no point in life support or CPR, and that her organs were failing with only a few weeks to possibly only a few days left. It wasn't the first time I heard such dire predictions, and Michelle, with her incredible strength, had always proved them wrong before. So deep in my heart, I couldn't believe that it was true. I thought that she would pull through just as she always had. This time they said she couldn't stay in the hospital any longer and that she'd need to go to hospice for end of life support, a word that Michelle always hated. This, despite some disagreements with doctors and others, we decided to go home instead. With some medical training they provided, I was prepared to care for her at home, believing that she would heal. When Michelle passed, my grief tend to turn into a daily struggle. I tried to numb the pain with alcohol. It only pulled me deeper into despair. Yet, in between this darkness, two paths unfolded before me. One bleak and the other, though shadowed, had a glimmer of hope. That's when Sydney to Byron was born. A quest not just born out of loss, but inspired by Michelle's unconquerable spirit. She made a real difference with her courage, and now so can we. It's been six long months, yet it feels just like yesterday. The grief might never fully fade, but I'm turning that pain into power, channeling into a cause that reaches beyond my own healing. Sydney to Byron isn't just a physical journey. It's a path I chose in the face of the unthinkable, inspired by Michelle's relentless spirit. It's about transforming pain into purpose, about refusing to let darkness overshadow the light. This walk from Sydney to Byron is about not giving up. It's about hope, about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, about a second chance. It's about doing something meaningful in honour of Michelle and for every woman battling with ovarian cancer. With each step, I hope to shed the grief and be reborn by the end of this journey. Nothing can bring Michelle back, but this quest can keep a flame alive, raise awareness and drive us towards a future where no other has to endure such pain. Join in support us and let's take these steps together to make a real difference. Let's ensure that Michelle's fight and the fight of many others are not in vain. Sydney and Byron is more than just a walk, it's a movement. Let the quest begin.